Talent Open Studio. Lesson 1, Getting Started. Talent Open Studio for Data Integration is a powerful and versatile open source solution for data integration. In this lesson you will learn basic information about work with Talent Open Studio, by creating a simple process. Our first process will just read data from CSV file and display it on the screen. Before we start creating process let's say a few words about Talent Open Studio components. On the left side is a repository tree, where you can find all jobs and code, that belong to the current project. On the right side is a palette panel, now empty, which, after we create job, will present components for building a process. At the bottom of the screen are few tab window, where you will manage process and its components. Job, contains properties related to job. Contexts, here you will input process context variables. Component, this tab allows to manage process component. Run job, from this tab you will launch process in basic or trace mode. Problems, this tab will present list of errors and problems in de OK. Let's start with creating the job, representing our task. We name this job, read CSV file. In the center of the screen automatically opened panel for job modeling. Now choose T file input delimited component from components palettes and drag it to the job panel. You can change the name of the component in view section of component details window. Select the input CSV file. In our case we will try to read students data from students CSV file. Next click edit scheme. Next click edit scheme button. In open window define record fields according to previously pointed CSV file. You can define data types for each field. You can also define record key. To display data from input file we use tlogro component. Drag it to the job panel from palette, and change it name to display rows. Now connect read file component with display rows component. To do that right click on read file component, select row, then main, and point display row component. Now process is complete, and ready to run. Open debug run, tab and click traces debug, button. In trace mode you will see how process is executed and how the input file is read. In debug mode process reads data from input file row by row and displays it in table on process panel. In the output console you can see one line with red font. Talent informs you in this way about some problems that occur in process execution. In this case process try to read the header of the input file. Columns names from header are not convertible to integer type. This data type was defined for id column. To avoid that problem define that the input file contains one row of header. You can see on the screen where to put this information.
when process is run again information message doesn't occur anymore. Log row component has several options to present data. You can easily define how the input data should be presented. It could be a table with columns headers. Or it could be a set of tables for each read row. In this lesson we learned how to read and display data. In the next lessons we will present more complex data transformations. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit Learn with Video Tutorials.com